The steamroller event is this crazy thing where a giant steamroller paving truck prints ginormous woodcuts that artists have carved in our back driveway. So we're carving blocks, we ink up the surface with gobs of ink outside, and we invite everybody to come watch this crazy spectacle of printing with a truck, basically. And it's this way to do something really visible on this very large scale to get people excited about printmaking and just coming together and hanging out. My name is Deborah Maris Slater. I run the Chicago Printmakers Collaborative. I founded it in 1989. One of the really cool aspects of this particular steamroller was that it's very much a neighborhood-centric thing, but also with artists coming from all over the city to be part of it. This is uh, Gabe Hoare's work, and we have Liz Bourne. They are both uh, work at Hoof Print Press on the south side. Um, we've got Catherine Jacoby's block over here, and we've got uh, our teen group uh, made a beautiful block. They collaborated. Uh, this is our group from uh, Chicago Public Library, U Media, uh, under the leadership of Jeff Lassan and Julie Kozlowski. Printmaking is very unique in that it it's perfect for community because printmakers generally have to share a printmaking studio and a press with other printmakers. Part of my creative process is not just making art, which I love doing, but it's also just sometimes interacting with our community. I think my favorite thing is just to see people's faces when the prints came off of the blocks and they, you know, had watched all this, they were anticipating all these things as they watched the process of us inking these things. It takes a while to ink a giant seven foot block. I loved uh, having live music because it made it feel, it was old timey string band music and all these people that I actually know were playing music and my buddies from Baker Miller were selling their beautiful food and the Tamales Express brothers were there selling tamales. It made me so happy to see everyone having such a good time. When you know your neighbor, you're not afraid of them. When you know your shopkeeper, when you know the people in your community, when you start to connect with them, you feel like you're part of something. And this isn't even about art, it's about the idea of connection. And when people feel like they're connected to their church, to their local print shop, to their place they take music lessons, whatever that is, I think they feel connected and they feel safe.